In this example, we'll learn how to find the greatest common factor of a pair of expressions. We are going to use a technique called prime factorization to rewrite a number as a product of its primes. In part A, we'll find the greatest common factor of 36 and 48. Thirty-six breaks down to nine and four. Nine can be broken into three and three, while four can be broken into two and two. Since all of the numbers are prime, we can't break this down any further. Now we'll find the prime factors of forty-eight. Forty-eight breaks down to six and eight. Six breaks down to two and three, and eight breaks down to four and two. Four breaks down to two and two. We can't go any further since all of our numbers are primes. Now we'll organize our work. Put the prime numbers into their respective boxes. We need to circle each pair of identical primes. We can circle a pair of threes and two pairs of twos. Now multiply three, two, and two to get the greatest common factor. The product of these numbers is 12, so the greatest common factor of 36 and 48 is 12. If you're up to speed with your times tables, you can do this kind of problem in your head. 12 is the largest number that fits evenly into both 36 and 48, so 12 is the greatest common factor. In part B, we'll find the greatest common factor of 15 and 45. 15 breaks down to 3 and 5. These are primes, so we can't go any further. Now we'll find the prime factors of 45. 45 breaks down to 15 and 3. 15 breaks down to 3 and 5. 5. We should organize our numbers for easy analysis. Put all the prime numbers in their respective boxes. Now we'll circle each pair of identical numbers. We have a pair of threes and a pair of fives. Multiply three and five to get the greatest common factor. We can now answer the question. The greatest common factor of 15 and 45 is 15. In our heads, we can do this process quickly by recognizing that 15 is the largest number that fits into both 15 and 45 evenly. In part C, we'll find the greatest common factor of 16x squared and 24x. 16x squared can be broken down to 16 and x squared. 16 breaks down to 4 and 4, while x squared breaks down to x and x. Each of the 4s breaks down to two twos. Now we'll find the prime factors of 24x. 24x breaks down to 24 and x. 
24 breaks down to 6 and 4. Six breaks down to three and two, and four breaks down to two and two. Now we'll organize our prime factors. Place the numbers in their respective containers. We need to circle all the pairs of identical numbers. We can circle three pairs of twos and one pair of x's. Multiply two, 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 and x to get the greatest common factor. We can now answer the question. The greatest common factor of 16x squared and 24x is 8x. Solving this in our heads, we can recognize that 8 is the largest number that fits into both 16 and 24 evenly. x is the largest variable that can fit into both x squared and x. Therefore, the greatest common factor is 8x. Now we'll find the greatest common factor of 3a squared b cubed and 6a to the 4b cubed. Three a squared b cubed breaks up into three a squared and b cubed. A squared breaks up into a and a. B cubed becomes b, b, and b. Now we'll find the prime factors of six a to the four b cubed. Six a to the four b cubed breaks apart to six a to the four and b cubed. Six becomes two and three. A to the four becomes a times a times a times a. B cubed becomes b times b times b. Now put the prime factors into their respective containers. We can circle a pair of threes, two pairs of a's, and three pairs of b's. Multiply three, a, a, b, b, and b to get the greatest common factor. All of these values multiply to 3a squared b cubed. So to answer the question, the greatest common factor of 3a squared b cubed and 6a to the 4b cubed is 3a squared b cubed. We could have solved this problem quickly by recognizing that 3 is the largest number that fits into both 3 and 6. a squared is the greatest common factor for a squared and a to the 4, and b cubed is the greatest common factor for b cubed and b cubed. Putting these values together gives the answer, 3a squared b cubed. In part e, we will find the greatest common factor of pi r squared and pi r s. Pi r squared breaks up to pi, r, and r. Now we'll find the prime factors of pi r s. Pi r s breaks up to pi, r, and s. We need to organize all of our work. Place the prime factors into their respective containers. We have a pair of pi's and a pair of r's. Multiply pi and r to get the greatest common factor.
we can now answer the question. The greatest common factor of pi r squared and pi r s is pi r. If we did this question in our heads, we would need to recognize that pi is the greatest common factor for pi and pi, and r is the greatest common factor for r squared and r. Since we are missing s from the first term, we will not have s in our answer. The greatest common factor for pi r squared and pi r s is pi r.